One of the hardest things when it comes to creating realistic drawings actually has nothing to do with the drawing process. It's finding time to draw. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you things that I do in order to draw every day, because at the end of the day, the more you draw, the better you'll get. So let's just get straight to the video. So the first thing that I'd recommend you do is almost to have like a station where you just draw. So you've always got a drawing out with your pencils and materials and stuff to really kind of like limit the amount of friction that it takes for you to get started on a drawing. Because let's be honest, if you're like thinking about drawing and you're like, okay, so now I've got to get my sketchbook out, I've got to like set up a drawing tilt, I've got to get my materials out, it probably just won't happen because it's too much effort. But if you've got everything out already and it's like, okay, I can just sit down, grab a pencil, maybe stick some headphones in with some music or an audiobook, and then you can just get going. So there's like such little friction that you'll actually do it. And the way that I do this is like, I like to work in the mornings so that I will set up my drawing station the night before so that I can just like come down in the morning and then just get straight to it. And and this is how I draw every single day and maybe this will help you out too. Now the next thing I want to move on to is something that you're probably going to be a bit annoyed at me for bringing up, but how much time are you spending doing stuff that you don't necessarily think that you should actually be doing, like scrolling on social media, watching tons and tons of TV, because at the end of the day, yes, life is hard and you do need to decompress sometimes, but drawing is a pretty good way to decompress. I find I don't necessarily watch a lot of TV or do a lot of scrolling, I just kind of draw. And I spend all that time perfecting that skill opposed to watching something else, and as a result, I've become pretty pretty good at drawing in quite a short space of time, so over the span of around five years. And yeah, this would be my um, biggest thing. So you can go and look at the screen times on your phone and you'd be surprised because I was when I looked. And something else that you need to realize is when it comes to drawing, you don't need to sit down for like one, two, even like three hours straight. Even just spending like 10 minutes here, 10 minutes there is just a heck of a lot better than just doing nothing at all. So don't feel like pressured that, okay, so I've got to set aside like an hour here to do this drawing. Nope, just if you feel yourself getting like 10 minutes free, just go, okay, I'm gonna go to my drawing station that's all set up from that first thing that I started talking about and then you can just start drawing for 10 minutes and then something may come up so you can then go and do that but at least you actually did something and by just practicing it and doing like 10 minutes a day you will get better so yeah this was actually quite a short video and I did this kind of like ironically as I didn't want you to spend too much time watching it so you can actually get back to your drawings and spending more time perfecting that skill so again if you've enjoyed this video please hit that subscribe button and I shall see you in the next one